10 most expensive homes in London. London, the capital of England and the United Kingdom, is a 21st century city with a history stretching back to Roman times. London is a city of dreams and a hub of expensive and luxurious things, and has so much to offer in terms of luxury. In fact, London itself is among the most expensive cities in the world. And what makes a city livelier than some of the best homes around? To shed light on that, we will take you on a virtual tour of the top 10 most expensive homes in London. Did you know that there are over 300 languages spoken in this city? Well, let's spare that for another day and focus on some of the most luxurious homes in London. Let's get it on. Number 10, Aubrey Walk, Holland Park, $20 million. <laughs> This is an impressive and beautifully refurbished Art Deco house situated in a prime Kensington location. A moment away from both Holland Park and Notting Hill Gate, this immaculately presentable and unique seven bedroom, five reception room family residence was created by joining two neighboring houses together, providing inviolable room dimensions and versatile accommodation throughout. This house was meticulously designed to offer the best of modern living. With state-of-the-art comforts including Lutron lighting and underfloor heating, leisure facilities including a 35-foot swimming pool, separate gym, sauna, and jacuzzi, as well as a large garden and top floor. A south-facing terrace with far-reaching views overlooking the Campton Hill Tennis Club makes this 21st century residential palace the only queen among other kings in the neighborhood. Arranged over five floors and with superb entertaining space, this wonderful house has off-street parking for two cars. Number nine, duplex penthouse, Riverwalk, $32 million. A unique penthouse with iconic 360 degree views of London and one of the largest private south-facing terraces on the river. This property is the ultimate bachelor's pad. It's conveniently situated in a new stunning riverside development, Riverwalk Westminster, SW1. With direct lift access, the duplex penthouse comprises over 6,000 square feet of interior space with a staggering five in-suite bedrooms. The penthouse's interior was designed by world-renowned and London-based design studio, Spinocchia Frund, in conjunction with Lisa Ronson. Any resident lucky enough to live at Riverwalk will also benefit from hotel-style facilities, including a concierge service provided by Harrods Estates, a fitness suite with a Pilates and yoga studio, secure underground parking, and 24-hour security. What more could you want? Any willing buyer will have to come to terms with the loss of not less than $32 million. Number 8, Ashburg House, $35 million. Found in West London in the affluent area of Chelsea, the Ashburg House was inspired by the world-famous Ashburg Diamond, and it could be your future dream home for just $35 million. Designed by Morpheus London, the architecture of this unique five-story residence includes black basalt and bronze detailing, although it's the glass facade that strikes me most. But on the inside, this mansion is equally mesmerizing, featuring a well-balanced interior which benefits from fluid, organic forms, and 8,400 square feet of luxurious living areas. We should also mention that every single furniture piece has been custom made for this particular residence, which should explain this ridiculous asking price. Speaking of that, for $35 million, the next owners of this staggering home will also get to brag about a delicate chandelier called the Falling Leaf Chandelier, which was handcrafted with over 140 glass leaves in graduated color. If all of this sounds sophisticated, it's because it looks like that, and you'll totally love it. Aside from the elegant rooms and wonderful amenities, this charming home also boasts a spa, a swimming pool, steam room, gym, an indoor theater, staff quarters, as well as what most probably is a delicious wine wall. If you've ever dreamed of living in London, this is probably as good as it can get. 
Number 7. 73 Chester Square. $38 million. The steel-lined bomb-proof front door to 73 Chester Square in London's Belgravia might give a clue about who used to live here. The six-story, six-bedroom Georgian-style mansion was the last home of the late Baroness Thatcher, who lived here after her tenure as Prime Minister from 1991 until she died in 2013. If only the walls could talk. One could almost imagine Ronald Reagan and other heads of state sitting with Baroness Thatcher in her dining room. The flooring in the doorway corridor is laid with Hopton stone, whereas the drawing room contains a pair of authentic Louis XVI fireplaces and parquet flooring. This iconic doll is not for the faint-hearted. Acquiring its ownership means parting ways with a hefty $38 million. Number 6. Mansion House $46 million Whoever gave Mansion House its name went straight to the point. This five-story behemoth in London measures 11,075 square feet and was built to impress, with towering columns and an elaborate classical pediment. However, the name is misleading in one respect. Although the property is 112 years old, it has never actually been a house until recently. After serving as a company headquarters and political command post, it has been converted into a seven-bedroom house, listed for almost $46 million. The price tag includes all its furniture and fittings, down to the artwork. A bronze nude by Rodin stands in the main living room. The building, designed by architect Horace Field, and built in 1905 was originally the London office of the Northeastern Railway Company at a time when the railways were the locomotive of Britain's expanding industrial power. With Calcutta Aura marble and parquet flooring, chandeliers hanging, and a gray, white, taupe color palette, Mansion House is an exercise in grandeur. In addition to seven bedrooms and seven bathrooms, the house includes a dining room, formal and informal living rooms, a media room, wine room, and staff quarters. Outside is a walled backyard and a roof terrace with views of the House of Parliament and Big Ben's Peak. The basement features a pool tiled in gold, green, and bronze mosaic tiles, as well as a hot tub and sauna. Number five, the Huxley Kenwood House, Hampstead, $47 million. Built around the early 17th century, Kenwood House was bought by William Murray Lord Mansfield and served as a residence to the Earls of Mansfield through the 18th and 19th centuries before being opened to the public in the mid-1920s. In 1986, it was handed to English Heritage, who have kept the place in pretty good time capsule nick. The house is significant because it's a complete example of Robert Adams' neoclassical architecture, who used a vocabulary of decorative motifs that are all on show. The library here, decked out in Wedgwood pottery pastels, is one of his most famous interiors. If you've been able to look up at all those grand ceilings without last night's shots catching up with you, move on to the 63 substantial collection of old master paintings, the first to be given to the British nation in the 20th century, also making this place a free art gallery. On weekends, there's a second-hand bookshop to explore in one of the ground's cottages and 45 hectares of landscaped gardens and paths around the building to show off the estate. There's even a dairy, once an apparently admirable pastime for aristocratic ladies. Number four. Heathfeld Park Highgate, $54 million. The secluded Hollywood-style supermansion near Hempstead Heath is the third most popular property on Rightmove so far this year. It is one of the most expensive detached houses on the open market in the UK. With 10 bedrooms and 7 bathrooms, the house is believed to have taken its owner, an Eastern European tycoon, more than 10 years to build at the cost of 32 million pounds. A smaller house on the site was demolished and replaced by the glossy white modern home. A swimming pool and spa open into the garden while a glass lift rises through the house's center. 
The property features a gym, a billiards room, tennis court, and roof terrace with views over the gardens and nearby Hampstead Heath. There is also a separate staff lodge. Number three, Mayfair, $55 million. The super home has 110 rooms spanning 43,000 square feet, which is roughly the average size of 55 London flats and more than twice the size of the Royal Albert Hall. Don Ward, an interior designer and one of the original cast members of the ITV reality series, The Real Housewives of Cheshire, spent four years designing the house interiors with her team. More than a thousand pieces of furniture have been bought for the home at the cost of around six million pounds. The bed in the master suite is an emperor-sized bed, measuring two meters by two meters, which means you can starfish and you don't touch the person next to you. In the basement on the wall behind a 40-foot swimming pool is a spectacular volcanic lava installation which costs 200,000 pounds. Other features you might not expect to find in this historic London enclave include a Thai-themed dining room with a river flowing through its center filled with hand-picked African cichlid fish, all set beneath a preserved 15-foot cherry tree adorned with pink silk blossom. Number 2. St. James Park, $74 million. It's precisely what you would expect for this location and this price point. A gorgeous townhouse, quite literally a stone's throw from Buckingham Palace. The seven floors at Buckingham Gate span 14,227 square feet. Everything you can think of lies on those floors. A media room, five dressing rooms, six large bedrooms with en-suites, plus two rooms for the inevitable staff, two private terraces, two balconies, a bar, a pool, a gym, a sauna, a treatment room, and 24-hour concierge service, whatever that means in a private residence, you will find it in this home, but not before you sign a check topping $74 million. Number one, Toprak Mansion, $143 million. London's most notorious pocket of luxury real estate is a mile-long road of mansions known as Billionaire's Row. It has a reputation for money, scandal, murder, and secrecy. The most jaw-dropping of the 66 mansions on London's lavish Billionaire's Row is Toprak Mansion at number 46A. Built by extravagant Turkish entrepreneur Hollis Toprak in the 1990s, Toprak Mansion is eye-catching in the way architects and estate agents try to avoid it. It is garish, perpetually unoccupied, and stylistically mismatched to the other houses on the road. Formerly named the Bishop's Avenue, Toprak, who made his fortune in construction, kitted his 30,000 square foot Grecian style mansion, topped with a green copper roof, with a Turkish bath that can hold 20 people, an 80 foot dining room, and a pool spanned by a translucent glass bridge. It remains the most expensive home in London to date. So there you have it, 10 most expensive homes in London. Which of these homes impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications.